we have to have our y axis and x axis. Okay, your normal, your normal x inter or absolute value. So if you have f of x equals the absolute value of x, that graph starts at the origin and it's just a line going up like that. It goes right one, up one, and now it's going to go left one, up one. Left ten, up ten. And that's your normal absolute value. All right? Now, everything else happens just like it did with the parabola. Okay? The parabola, remember, so what would happen if I had f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 2 plus 3. So my vertex, my vertex, just as it was with a parabola, is going to be hk. So what is my vertex then of this um, absolute value? A positive 2 and a positive 3, right? So it's going to be just like the other one. It's going to be f of x equals a times the absolute value of x minus h plus k. Is that negative 2? It's negative 2 here, but since the formula says x minus h, then 2 would have to be a positive 2. H, I mean, would be, have to be a positive 2. And that's the absolute value of the Yep. It's the same thing as the parabola, except for instead of parentheses squared, it's absolute values. Okay, so now where's my vertex? 2, 3. Okay, and now I didn't change the A function at all, right? So I'm still going to go left and right 1, up 1, left and right 5, up 5. So it's just going to be a perfect V for this one, too. So start there, left and right 1, up 1, left and right 1, up 1, like that. That's the only difference. So we're going to treat it just like we did the, abs the parabolas as far as transforming, shifting them around. Okay, let's try one more. So how would I graph f of x equals negative 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3 minus 4? So... Yeah, one second. Let me draw my grid here first. Really? Okay, so where would I start? Uh, you would start by finding the vertex. So where is my vertex? Uh, that would be 3 and negative 4. So 3, negative 4, right there. Now what? Now, instead of going left and right one, down, up one, I'm going to go left and right one, down two. So my slope is like a negative two. And that would be that graph. Do what you can on 4.3. All this stuff's on YouTube.